give a donation to the zoo. They actually talk to each other. Yes, of course. They communicate or somehow somewhat. No, they literally they talk to each other. Mm -hmm. Good. I'm so happy with these pair of shoes here because I play tennis with it. Mm -hmm. Tennis shoes is important for our tennis. Oh yeah. Oh my god, he look at toy. Super bright. Oh my god, and poisonous. Yeah. Well, they're only poisonous in the environment that they live in. They're not poisonous. They're, unless they put plants here, they can get the poison from. Talking to each other. No, they're not. They're looking at each other, but they're not talking to each other. And they're not going to be cold. I mean, there's a reason. They're, these, these guys live in Florida. They live in Florida. Apparently, he's trying to break out. That glass is broken. He is venomous. You see, you see the triangle for his head? Oh, yeah, yeah, probably. That's why it's all wrapped but up. The eyes is open. You don't sleep with your eyes? Like, high respect. And high respect on False water cobra. So there's a water type snake in here somewhere. But I'm sure it is. Elon monsters in here. Elon Musk? Yes, the Elon Musk <laughs> monsters in there. <laughs> Elon monsters. Why call them monsters? I don't know. Oh, yeah. frogs are in here moving around. Oh, it's, it's, it's venomous too. Mm -hmm. Frog right there. Aww. Frog in the back little water bowl. Aww. There's a frog over there on the side also. Oh, you move? Mm -hmm. No, it's in the water bowl. I was so scared snake. Now I love them. Not love, love, but I like them. I respect them. You can them. respect them. Yeah, nothing in here. Look. Tokyo gecko. Yeah. They wouldn't have the light on if they didn't have the Tokyo gecko on here. And here is the European glass lizard. Oh my god, look how long he is. Mm -hmm. Hello. At first glance, you may think oh, you're seeing. Is it? Is it? Yeah. You may think you're seeing a snake, but if you look closely, you can see the ear openings and eyelids. Mm. They have eyelids, which snakes don't have eyelids. Mm. The half of his body consists of his tail, which can drop to escape a predator. Yep. 
Different type of tortoise. Yes. Gopher tortoises are native to Florida. Okay. They dig tunnels under the ground. We've actually had some come through our backyard. They eat, they're mainly vegetarians. They don't really, they don't, they don't hunt. The tortoises here are from Africa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, normally they'll dig like 30, 40 foot burrows. I'm surprised, I don't know. It's against the law to interfere with them. You're not allowed to pick them up or move them or mess with their homes. I saw tortoise in that. <laughs> yeah, no. the eagle's up there, though. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's a squirrel. They've been digging around over here some. That's why the vegetation's all torn up. So I'm over at the zoo. In case you don't think they have alligators here, that is an alligator. Waiting for a zookeeper to be happy. It's actually bigger than I am. So like that gator, what's a good size comparison? Each one of his back legs is probably about as long as my arm is. Well, maybe that's my arm, but he's a big gator. He's a big gator. He's normally in the water, so you don't even see him, but he's just, he's trying to get some sun to warm up. Effectively, that there is a dinosaur. <laughs> no, he's cold, so he's just not doing much. Oh, the other one's in the back. You can see his head from over here. I'm going to take my phone out so I can zoom in on the other one. The other one's much smaller. All right, so this is the big one in the enclosure. And there's a much smaller one back this way. And that there is where you can see it. Oh, all their cattails here, Coco, they died from the frost.
see the turtles. Over here, they have some turtles trying to warm up also. There's a fence underneath here that keeps the um, gators from getting to the side. Because on this side is also where they have the Key West deer, the key deer that run around in here. They might not be out, but these are what key deer, tiny little deers. Hopefully they don't get any smart ideas of jumping the fence to go visit the gators. might be in their enclosure. Yeah. The big one is there, the small one is over there. Because it's got two entrances that, to get in. Are you sure? Oh. They have this path open now. It wasn't open before. They're probably inside where it's warm. Yeah, we'll be able to walk through the path. We haven't been able to go down there for a long time. The lock is on it, but it's open, Coco. If they didn't have it there, they'd have to put the lock somewhere else. Yeah, you can get a picture. Just take a picture.
So, how do you use your spoon? How do you think this bird uses his spoon? He uses it like this. He swings it hither and thither. Hither and thither goes the spoon for the spoon bill. They have three of them. Yeah. And then so, I so I guess I guess the red berries you're working on. Oh no, you saw the berries on the tree. Yeah. So we took, we cut down everything. I cut everything back uh -huh. um, to where some of them are just like stumps. That's why I love them. Don't have any foliage on them. And then none of the other birds have ever been seen in the berries. Have any problem? Which is why we didn't do anything with them until until that happens. Yeah. yeah. So, oh wow. Yeah. So, but the. This one still has berries on it though, yeah. right? To my knowledge, it was these red berries. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know why. I think the reason they're so here is because we haven't had any issues with anyone else eating them. But. But if you have. Yeah. Why, yeah. yeah why, why have a toxic plant in with your birds when your birds can eat them and die? I agree. And, and this also, you know. Yeah. I agree. But then the tree back there is the one that we cut down. Okay. And then now it's having growth. So maybe it was the berries on those. To my knowledge, it was just berries. That's what that was Yeah, so in his stomach, there was a ton of berries. Um, and there was like hair ties and like clips and stuff from people, from people dropping and, and ate it. Stuff. And then he was like eating everything. 
and it doesn't pass through, it just spills up and yeah. slowly die. Yeah. Stay here and who knows, right? Yeah. There was just a little kid in here running around the back. Oh. And we have a nest over there and he was like going up to the nest. Where's the nest? It's right over here. Mm. We have, it's a whistling duck nest. So did you see that little whistling duck in there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so he's on a nest right now. Oh um, my god. there's five eggs under there. Oh. I thought I thought the night herons oh. eat the eggs, or is it just the chicks that the night herons eat? Because the last time I, I've been in here before, and I've asked where the night herons were, and they said they took the night herons out because they had babies in here, and the night herons would just eat them. Okay, then yeah, it was probably the chicks. So they had yeah. these same ducks um, had a ton of babies. Now there's like six. I think we have seven night whistling herons. ducks in total running around here. They're all full full grown now. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think it was just the chicks then, if we're leaving them in here. Yeah. Okay. Aww, God. Yeah, I never heard about that. Yeah. Your, your little duck's wanting to be talkative. Is that also a whistling duck, just a different color? or is no, it a different... so both of those are wood ducks. Um, okay. the one, a pair? Yeah, the one with the green head is the male, and then the not is the female. Aww, you so cute together. That's why they follow each other. Yeah. And the redheads are expensive. And they are different kinds from that lane right there. Yeah, so we have three different kinds. We have four different kinds of ducks in yeah. here. Yeah. There's Tilly. She's, we only have one blue wing teal. She's really small and kind of hard to spot. And she has like a little limp. Um, and then we have these two wood ducks. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know if you can see the redheads over mm -hmm. there. We have mm -hmm. two of those. Mm -hmm. And then we have seven of the whistling ducks. Mm -hmm. the ones that are on the okay. Those are the ducks. And the night, the night heron is in a really nice spot over there. Got some really good video of it. They don't, they don't do much. Kind of spiritual night. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're fun. They're at the top of the hierarchy. Well, yeah, because the others know that they'll eat them. <laughs> they, they can. Yeah. Yeah. There's the two. Bennett and Nix, and they're both girls. Which names don't make sense. Oh, you need to get a boy so you can have a little yeah. baby night. Probably that there's not a female spoonbill in here. Yeah, and she was living alone with her whole life. Because he, 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 Woody, Woody, the, which one is Woody, the spoonbill or the? Woody is the wood store. The wood store. Okay, got it. Bullying everybody. Yeah. Well, and Smee, Smee chases people too. Okay. They both chase people, but they don't chase each other. They're both bullies. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a pecking order. Imagine yeah. that with birds. Oh my god. We're gonna walk the rest of the trail that opened back up because it's not been open for a while. Thank you. Of course, of course. Thanks. Thank you. That's why I was trying to bring you along. Wild, the Zayan Warty Pig. Baby, they can raise their mohawk to appear bigger when threatened. Look at the look like cartoon. Yeah.
a tree kangaroo. A tree kangaroo. Just literally fell up asleep up in the tree. It's actually sleeping right there. Another warty hog. Oh yeah, they, they, they maintained it the entire time. You just, you just, we just couldn't come back here. So they have a leopard tortoise in here somewhere. These are Nylas, and maybe a crane if we if we see the crane. I'm not sure if we're gonna see the crane or not. Got a good picture of the picture of them. You may have been strolling through the zoo and stopping your tracks when you heard a chorus of shrieking and cackling roars. That was no velociraptor you heard. It was our adorable wide-eyed lemur family. Twelve different complex calls to communicate with their group. Just communicating like that. Look at the tail. Oh yeah, they've got the lemur's long tails for those guys. Oh my god. <laughs> That's yoga. Uh, let me let me show you how flexible I really am. Leg way up here. Yes. For my next trick, leg way over here too. Oh there's another one right there. It's the same it's the same enclosure. Oh there's one walking around. Some of the ocelot the last time we came through here. I'm sure he's in there somewhere, or her. Flew away. Yep. To keep it so that you could take the glass down. They still, yeah. And they got their little heated enclosure in the back. One of them just, there's a little baby that just came out of it. Oh my a little tiny baby in the very back. Yeah. I think that one's a young one. So, I mean, they're both, they're all, they're small, but it just looks smaller than the other one. And then here are the owls. They're, they're the night owls. Owls are such an interesting birds. They've got to eat something. Yeah. 
Hello there. Good morning. Good morning. I'm over at the zoo right now. Step in bird shit. Bird shit for Coco. Yeah, not so bad. There's grass outside, Coco. You can run your feet on the grass. Oh, there are other critters not over here anymore. They must have moved it back to the back. Yeah, they must have moved it and they had it up here because they could have it up here earlier. Job. I like, you quit your job. I you want you to do from one to yeah. Shop. I've never actually been in there, although it says you step home, I saw them First, just gift shop items at ticket window, so you can just look inside and that's it. So they've got all the little critters on the shelves. 